Welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Circuits. In this tutorial we'll go through what we call mesh selection. In many tools you need an area of the mesh to be selected for extracting and defining primitives or if you want to create a 2D sketch that it goes only through the selected area. In order to start working with the selection you actually need to have the mesh loaded and you need to select the mesh edit tool. There are the tools that you can apply on the mesh, but they are covered by another tutorials. We'll, for now, we'll just go through all the selection tools that you can apply on the mesh. The first um, selection tool that we have in Quick Surface is called Magic Wand. This is a curvature based selection, and the main idea is that you just click on an area, and it uses the number of degrees of the neighbor triangles, and expands the selection. It goes to the corners and there uh, where you have a high curvature. You can control this sensitivity by using the slider and as you can see the selection is changed. You can also use this by holding control and your mouse wheel which also will change the selection. The software provides you a quick toolbar that you can quickly do something with your selection and if you don't want to see this, there is always an option here that you can turn this instant dialog on or off. Once it's painted, you can press close and the selection will remain. Then you can apply other tools like 2D sketches and they will have an option to extract only from the selected area. We'll go back to the Mesh Edit tool now and continue with the selection control. The magic uh, wand works well on uh, well-defined um, meshes, but in some cases you may find that it's not working really well because of the noisy data. I will just, at any point, I can unselect my selected triangles by hitting this icon, or you can just right-click in, in your context menu, you can deselect all. The next control that you can used for selection is called a freehand selection. You can see the brush size which you can control by holding the control key and using the mouse wheel. In order to make the selection you can just paint on top of the object. When you lift your mouse button everything will be selected. How we can unselect in quick surfaces by holding the alt key Again, holding the Alt key and brushing we will actually remove the selected area. In such cases I can probably just hold Alt key and remove this selection. The other option that we have is what is called the freehand selection, which will just, I will just take this and I just paint the free form. It's useful in some cases that you want to select areas like this one. The next option is using a line which works exactly the same, but it just draws a line in, on the screen. Holding the Alt key can uh, force the software to actually unselect some of the areas. Of course, if we place in the standard view, sometimes it's really convenient that you use something which is called rectangular selection. You can just select this option from the navigation dialog, hold your left mouse button, and while you hold, you move on the screen everything underneath will be selected. Now, what we can see here is that not everything was selected and this was because the software has an option whether to select through the mesh or just only the visible front-facing triangles. Let's put this back again. I will unselect and redo the same, but this time I will turn on the option which is called Select Through. Hold your left mouse button and lift your left mouse button when ready. As you can see, everything has been selected now. So you can generally play with this control in different cases where you want to apply different selection. There are also options on the bottom line which you can improve your selected area. The first one is that it enlarges the selected area. You just press, as you can see, it takes the selected triangle and selects the, its neighbors. And the opposite is what it's called a shrink, which can reduce. And this can be quite useful to get a specific selected area. 
In some cases, when you have a large object, let's put this in the standard view, you may want to focus on a smaller area that you want to work on. And for this reason, we have something which is called isolate. The isolate command will take everything that it selected, will leave it on the screen and will hide everything else. So let's practice this. I just press the isolate. Now you can see that only this part is available for me. It can be much easier to rotate. You can just zoom in and work on a specific area. At any point, you can just go and show all the hidden triangles. Let's again make a small selection here. The other option that you can do is actually to hide the selected triangles. For example, here I can just select the top and then I can hide my uh, selected triangles. You have these buttons also on the um, quick uh, dialog bar so you can easily quickly do your uh, actions using these controls. Another option which you can find here is called Invert Selection which is also available in this toolbar. Let's explore our latest option for the which you can do with the selection. I will show everything and select everything and show the hidden triangle so you can see this part. It's useful in some applications that you may want just to isolate specific parts to work on them and go back and uh, work on the full object and so on. I want to demonstrate this uh, by selecting this cylinder now and I will just isolate this on the screen. So the mesh exists but we only see this uh, partial uh, area of the mesh that we probably want to do something on it. So for this purposes I can save this and name it as a big cylinder for example. What happened this is uh, like a property of my main mesh which remain and you can save it on the disk and you can apply it later. I will just show now everything and probably I can select this uh, small part here and will isolate and leave it on the screen. In this case I will, can save this as a plane. Press OK. So now if we have this I can always just go and uh, show all the hidden triangles here where I can work on. But if I want to go back to the area where I define, if I just double click, it will just apply what I have applied and saved as a status of a selection. This is quite useful that you can switch through different parts of the, of the mesh. And uh, if you have a situation like this one, you can always show everything by selecting the reference mesh, show hidden. If you have something selected, you can always just select Reference Mesh and Unselect All, which is, there is a shortcut which is called, uh, which is uh, by pressing the Control and Q on your keyboard. So this is generally all about the mesh selection. You can practice on this demo part and uh, create a different areas. The mesh selection is useful when you want to edit your mesh, delete un unwanted data, but also you can, if you uh, go further with our other tutorials, when you create a 2D sketch, for example, let me quickly demonstrate. I can go mesh edit. And if I want just to get this part, and uh, then if I want to create a 2D section, as you can see, the software, if I just uh, put it in this uh, view, you can see that the software automatically cuts the mesh only through the selected area, which helps you to extract only the areas that you need and avoid uh, slicing through the rest of the object. This is also optional, which you can turn on and off. So this is one of the examples where you actually need to use the selection in parallel of all the editing tools. I hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching.